I can't tell the difference between I'm worried, as mo- many people are, between what is legitimate and what is not legitimate. So you particularly want to concentrate on what's called smishing. What is smishing? Well, you had a good guess this morning I was hearing. Mm. It is the idea of SMS, so text message phishing. And the idea is that we are receiving more and more of these messages now. They're generally, the, the top stat in all of this is that they're related to parcel deliveries. And it will say something along the lines of, you do a parcel, yes, yes. Uh, but you have a surplus to pay. Please click this link to pay it to make sure your parcel's not delayed or we don't return it. And there does tend to be sometimes be a threat in the scam ones that make you feel like you've got to act very quickly. People go into panic mode. Now, the great thing about your viewers is that when I do these pieces each week, they say, well, yeah, we knew about that, Kate. We knew about that, Kate. And that's fantastic because I think a lot of this is about trying to make sure those people who are vulnerable do know, pass on the message. Because whilst it's affected so many of us, 79% of people generally say, when we get one of these messages, we will look at it twice. That means that 21% are sat there reacting to it and losing masses of savings, getting the fact that their bank accounts have been entered into. These are high-risk situations in terms of the fraud that we're seeing. Is there anything we can better do to protect our data so that we don't end up with our phone number, our email address on the list of the people the fraudsters are sending it to? Right. So, yes, there's a lot we can do in terms of protecting ourselves online, not having the same password, not having generic passwords, easy to guess passwords, etc. But particularly this trend, the smishing trend, is a text message to your phone. And the way that the fraudsters are doing it is literally just like a lottery. They're just entering new numbers. So the Consumer Rights Agency, which had some brand new mobile phones, numbers that had never been anywhere at all, with some typical numbers, and they monitored how many of these messages they got. And it was just a free-for-all because these numbers had never been displayed anywhere. So you can imagine that the fraudsters are just putting the numbers in, they're coming up on a lottery look, and then we're getting these messages. And because so many of us are using online Mm. deliveries and shopping now it's likely we're going to be receiving the parcels. The very best thing to do is ignore it. If someone's really wanting to get hold of you and they want to deliver that parcel, they're going to get hold of you by other means. Or indeed, contact the retailer you bought it from if you're nervous.